Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is six o'clock. It's time for a Magic Live. Today I'm going to be doing a routine called the Ultimate Thought of Cards Across. And the reason is it's because it's uh, a Cards Across. It's a Thought of Card that goes across and it's the ultimate version of it, in my opinion. Now, the exciting thing is this is going on to the Netrix, which is my online streaming platform, and it's going up on the next upload, which is Monday. So if you're a Netrix subscriber, you can learn this. The cool thing is it's pretty much self-working and it's insanely insanely commercial. So I'm going to perform this to you, Jack. How are you doing, buddy? You okay? More. Good stuff. And uh, <coughs> this is not a trick where you pick a card and I find it. It's kind of way better than that. But we're going to start off by taking 10 cards. Make sure I don't cheat. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly 10 cards. Now, these 10 cards go over here. We're going to get back to them a little bit later on, okay? Yep. Uh, those 10 cards are right there in front of you. I also, uh, I'm going to grab another 10 cards from this deck. And again, it's very important that you make sure I don't cheat. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so 10 cards there. The rest of the cards aren't important. Now we're going to take these 10 cards. Make sure there's nothing inside the card box. Make sure there's nothing weird going on there. Okay, and then take those 10 cards and put them inside the card box and put that over there front of you. So we have 10 cards there and we have 10 cards here, right? Yep. In a minute, what you're going to do is you're going to look at one of these cards. And the way you're going to do it is you're just going to take your finger and you're just going to lift up somewhere in the middle and have a look at a card. So I'm going to look away if you could just lift up and have a look at a card. Yep. You got one? Yep. Very good. And then what I want you to do is just hold those in between your hands like that. And I'm going to try and make one card vanish from between your hands. Not just any card but your card, watch. I do all my own choreography, I hope you're impressed. And there's one card right there that I plucked out in between your hands, and that's your card. Let me just move it over there. Now, I know you don't believe me. Lift up your hand. I'm gonna prove it. Just deal the cards face down onto the table, one at a time, go. One, one two, two, three, three four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, nine cards. Is ten? Well, your card is there, that's the 10th card. And I can tell what it is if I look at it. You see, it's face down at the moment, but if I turn it face up, that's the four of spades, that's your card. I had you, what? Was that your card? It was. Now watch this, if I uh, give you that four of spades, just throw it at the card box over there. Just so you know, your card really has gone. Check this out, look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards i do not see a four of spades there at all do you see a four of spades do you see anything like a four of spades it's gone that's because the four of spades is gone it's got to go somewhere jack you threw it at the box take the cards out of the box and you check that box was empty and you put the 10 cards in the box yourself count them face down onto the table one two three four five six seven eight nine ten need eleven 11 cards. And what was your card again? Four of spades. One card in the middle of all of these cards. <laughs> one card and one card only. The four of spades. How do you get that? And I'm left with a regular deck. So there you go. That's called the ultimate thought of cards across. I love the poetry of one card going across. They have a free choice. Everything happens in their hands. Now, in that performance, I elected to put the cards in the box. But if you've got two spectators, you can have both of them hold on between the cards. They can do all the counting. They can check. They, it's really, really strong, very commercial. And you always get a great reaction. Now, uh, that is available to learn from the Netrix. This is the first time I'm publishing it. It's going up on Monday. Uh, all you have to do is go to the Netrix. Uh, how many? Tricks we've got up there now, like four or five hundred, something like that. Sure, yeah, hundreds of slights, uh, weekly sessions with me. I've got a session tonight, actually, and creativity. That's going to be fun. Anyway, uh, go check that out. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, you can go to www.thenetrix.com, not .cookies, just so you know, .com. Go check it out, see what all the fuss is about, and you can go and learn the ultimate thought of cards across from there. Either way, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. My name's Craig from Magic TV.